Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can get some of the features from Mac OS X Lion and bring them over to Mac OS X Snow Leopard before Lion even comes out. Now with Lion right around the corner, you might, you might be itching to get some of these new features, and I was too, so I found a couple different ways that you can kind of transform Snow Leopard, if you will, into Mac OS X Lion. So we're going to start with the hardest one first. Uh, if you've seen anything with Lion so far, you'll know that there are no indicator lights under the applications in the dock. Now, this is something you can switch back on. But if you find this nicer than the Snow Leopard's look, and you want to change it to look like it does in Lion, here's how to do it. So first you're going to have to open up a new Finder window. And then you're going to have to go into the System folder within your main hard drive. And then the Library folder and then the core services folder. Now it's best not to play around in here too much, uh, but from here you're going to want to scroll down to Dock, and there's an application called Dock right there. And now you're going to either right click or control click on it, and click Show Package Contents. And now another window is going to pop up, and you're going to open up the Contents folder, as well as the Resources folder. Now here you're going to see a lot of different files and you're going to scroll down until you find indicator lights. So here they are right here. Indicator large all the way through indicator small. So now make a new folder on your desktop or somewhere else safe. Uh, and you're not going to want to delete these files. That's pretty critical. So you can select indicator large all the way through indicator small. Those are the files you need to work with. And you can drag those and copy them to your new folder. And you want to have a copy of these in case you ever want to restore your DAC's old look. So keep those there. Do not delete those files. Uh, put them somewhere safe. I'll call this do not delete. Uh, so leave those there. And now the ones that are in this resources folder, you can drag to the trash. And it's going to ask you for an administrator password. And you'll need that. And all those are in the trash. And what you need to do now to apply these changes. First of all, open up a new finder window, go to the applications folder, and scroll down to the utilities folder. And open that up, and then from there open up activity monitor. And then in the process list, you're going to want to look for doc, and here it is right here. I just select it, and I go up and hit the little stop sign to quit the process, and click quit. And this is going to restart the doc. And when it starts back up, you're going to see the changes applied and now you have no indicator lights under your DAC. And this is just like Mac OS X Lion. And once again, it's very important that you don't delete those image files if you ever want to restore your DAC to what it was before. And in that case, all you'd have to do is go back to that same resources folder I showed you and redrop the files in there. And once again, you'd have to type your administrator password to allow it. And the next thing I'm going to show you is reverse scrolling. So if you if you've seen any previews of Mac OS X Lion, you'll know that scrolling is reversed and that is for the trackpads as well as the mice. So when you're on a web page or anything like that, scrolling is going to be completely backwards from what you remember. Now once again, this is an option you can turn off, but if you like it, and I found that I really do like it, you can also enable this in Snow Leopard with an application called Scroll Reverser. So here's the web page where you can download it and I've set up a shortened URL and that is trdd.us slash scroll reverse. So there's a download link right here and once you download it you'll see it up in your menu bar right here and you can turn on and off reverse scrolling and start it at login. So now if we go into Safari for example and go to a web page you can see that when I scroll everything is backwards from how you remember it. You scroll like you would on an iOS device where you like kind of push up the page and push it down and this is just how scroll reversing works too and how it will work in Lion and I think after maybe a day of usage it really does work good and I've come to really like it. And so the next new major feature in Lion is Launchpad and this is an iOS style overlay for launching applications. Now if you want to get this in Snow Leopard right now and you can't really wait there's an application in the Mac App Store called QuickPick. And this pretty much gives you a launch pad for Snow Leopard.
It works a lot like it, and it's almost identical in a lot of ways. The only downfall is that it does cost $9.99. So you can see Quick Pick in my dock right here, and I put it right where the launch pad icon is located in Mac OS X Lion, right next to the Finder icon. And when you click on it, all your applications drop in just like in Launchpad, and you can scroll between different pages. It works just like it, and then you can click on an application to launch it. It's almost identical. You can move things around, although it's not quite as elegant as it actually will be in Mac OS X Lion. You kind of have to just kind of work around, but it still works the same. And you can go up to the menu bar here, and you can add different pages. So here's another page. And then if I click on this plus button here, I can go to other pages and drag apps to a new page. So that's kind of neat. You have multiple pages. And what you want to do to make this even more realistic is go up to the quick pick menu and click on preferences. From here you want to select the box, click on page background to hide, and then you'll probably want to get rid of show quick pick in the menu bar to make it as accurate as possible. It's very, very similar to Launchpad and Lion. The only thing that you can't really do is make folders. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is drop copy. Now in Lion there is a new feature called AirDrop which basically finds Macs on your same local network and from there you can easily drag and drop files right to them. So once again there's kind of a Snow Leopard replacement for this and it is called drop copy and this is also available in the Mac App Store and this time it is free so that's even better. And basically what it is, it's not exactly the same as it is in Lion but here it's just a little bubble on your desktop and it just kind of sits there. And what you can do, let's say I have a file. I just drag it and hold it over the little circle and it shows me every device that has drop copy running. In this case I have it running on my iPod. Now you can have this running on other Macs as well. And all I have to do is drag it over and onto the iPod little tile here. And it'll connect to it and send the file. And then you have a little uh, sound there. And now it does show up on my iPod. So that's how drop copy works and once you apply that to your system and have all the other tweaks installed you can get a real feel for what Mac OS X Lion is going to be like and you can feel like you have a kind of a sneak preview of it. And I found that all these tweaks installed are going to really make the transition from Snow Leopard to Lion a lot more smooth for me. I'll be already used to it once I start using it. So those are some cool tweaks to transform Mac OS X Snow Leopard into Lion. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.